everyone and welcome. This is Melissa with thestockswoosh.com and welcome here to the Stock Swoosh Play of the Day. This is DD. And the interesting thing is that I almost didn't even do this, but then I did. <laughs> and it worked out. And I even held it. And I even traded later than I normally do. And guess what? It all worked beautifully. I'm out of this now, though. That was the right thing to do. Although this could make another move lower today. I don't have the patience to stay through it. It also is extremely late for me now. It's after 1 o'clock. But actually, if you took this from the original entry that I was in it, you're still up, even with the rally back in this in the afternoon. But it had such a beautiful move into the drop here. Around the lunchtime period, it wouldn't have made sense to hold the entire position later. I mean, you could be in a portion of this. I'm, I'm not, but we'll go over it. I could have been very aggressive with this today with ads and things, and I just wasn't. But I played it, and I held it. I suppose that was aggressive. And I'll tell you what else was. This opened, and this is what this did, okay? It opened, pushed back. I did not do this here. I waited. I was patient. I watched it. I saw this and then decided to do it. And I actually got a better entry than I was originally trying for it because I took it in the tail and up in here. Put the stop. It dropped. You could have actually taken all out of this here. By holding, I was able to maximize the trade by making more money. And, but the reason I held was because I really thought it was going down to 69 and break 69. As it turns out, it didn't. But this still had a beautiful move, and I still had slightly more than a dollar in it with a very good stop. So I was happy, happy for myself and, and happy for the room today and for everyone that stayed with this with me. Again, I could have done an ad in here, but I didn't. I did lower the stop, though. And at one point, I put the stop at break even. Followed it through, followed it through, followed it through, followed it through, followed it through. I was looking for this, like I said, to go to 69, and I'm fine with holding something into the next area or the reversal time, but I was very aware of the fact that once this broke the low, see here's where it broke the low, what I wanted to see happen was it to fall off a cliff. Now it broke, I made more, I was again in this short, but this was not the fall off a cliff kind of activity that I expected to see. And and I was up a good amount of money. I was up a good amount of money time of the day, and I just took the whole thing. And I said that if it backed up at all after it broke the low, I was going to take the whole thing because I was in this so, so, so long. And I really felt like it was so close to 69, uh, 29 cents from that number that it should have fallen off a cliff, uh, and, and it didn't. But this was a nice short today. I made more than a dollar of it. I'm very, very happy with myself. Nice, solid Wednesday in here. Beautiful trade called by me, Melissa Arm on the Stock Swoosh. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, it's this weekend. You only have two more days or three more days to sign up. It's May 16th and 17th. That's where I teach the 26-point rating system. And that's how I know to do something like DD, how to take the entries, the targets, all of that. So it was a great day in the room. And if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone.